Hello and welcome to CC Insiders, and I'm starting to play Agatha Christie Aku Pro The First Cases. The game was released 2021 on PC, PlayStation 4, Switch, Xbox One, and I think uh, you can buy it from Steam or GOG. Don't know if it's on Epic. And um, what else? This takes. A, well, this is not based on any of Agatha Christie's stories, although what I do have. Do have knowledge about this game? It's uh, have it has obviously similarities to other Agatha, Agatha Christie stories, but uh, yes, this takes place as uh, Akiyoporo is a young policeman in Belgian police force, and um, as it says, first cases. I don't think there are multiple play cases; only one. At least the text alludes that uh, we are in manner. Murder happens, lots of suspicious suspicious people around there, and we have to find the real culprit. Well, you're pretty much a um, normal case for Akuporo. There are a few of those, a uh, few similar cases, obviously, for Poirot. But uh, yeah, I have no idea how this goes and what we can do about it. Uh, I hope settings are okay. And I think we can start as soon as possible. Oh, I do apologize. I haven't been uploading or streaming. Hopefully I've been streamed after be even before this uploads, but I don't know. Uh, because it's been quite hectic. It's Christmas time after all, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But yes, I'll try to get back on things as much as I can. So I try to upload daily. And get back to the streaming, but uh, again, it's Christmas time, so there might be a little chance. But I try my best. Anyways, that's not here, neither here nor there at the moment. So I think uh, options should be okay. Collectibles, we don't have any, so let's jump in. Pay attention to icon next to items and see. This means you haven't seen something. Blah blah. Recruitment drive sees largest enlisting numbers to police force in years. Is that Poirot? It seems like it. Congratulations, Mr. Poirot. Congratulations, you have been selected to attend. Blah, blah, blah. Local pickpocket gang called Red Handed. Okay. What else? Police sting operation sees jewel bandits apprehended. And again, we can see Poirot over there, so he's up and coming, new policeman. Shootout in city shows police blunder and cost. Valuable life. Oh. Police force apologies apologies apologizes as commanding officer states the young officer involved defied orders and acted with no thought of the consequence. Oh. So Poirot got reprimanded. Recently transferred from the Brussels police officer. Police force officer Poirot promises to be equitable and fair in the very event chatting this year in product card of the season award. So his career were going well until that one incident and then uh, then we have to be a card and duty. Interesting graphics. Different than ABC Murders, but still nice, I would say. At least for now. Heavy side, yes. Oh, thank goodness. Officer, please come quickly. No, oh, I do enjoy these uh, uh, portraits. Uh, oh, I need to press. Okay. Bonjour, mademoiselle. How can I... Uh... 
It has become a madhouse. Madame has been shouting and cursing all morning. I've never seen her so angry. But what great luck to happen upon you. Madhouse, I tell you, okay? So something has happened. Please, try to remain calm. Uh, first, may I ask your name? We don't have time for that. Please, hurry. Okay. I'm guessing there's nobody dead still. Ah, prologue. Bracelet. I'm guessing this is going to be a tutorial. Mademoiselle, now we are here. I must insist on your name before I can continue any further. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. Oh, again, I need to press the button. I am Elizabeth, but it is the maid servant that we must consider. Forgive me, officer, but are you new to the area? I stand out so obviously. I mean no offence, only I have not seen you before. This is a small town, and you learn everyone's faces very quickly. True, true. Very observant of you, mademoiselle. We, oui, I was recently posted here from the city. And a good thing I'm here now. Let us get to the bottom of this madness you speak of. Talking to characters is essential when gathering evidence. Basic questions are flagged with question mark icon. Use a left mouse button on the question to pose it to Elizabeth. Okay, so let's click it. There has been a theft at the house. Oh, we didn't say that al aloud. Okay. That question, I mean. Then I am exactly where I should be, Nespa. How astute, yes, because you're a police. Uh, you can ask questions with question mark icon in any order. Use mouse to choose your desired topic. Try asking Elizabeth more until you have all that you need. Do you have a list of all the items that have been taken? Does the house have any suspicions as to whom is respons responsible? Let's start with the list it is only one of mademoiselle angeline's most valuable bracelets taken from her room only one so probably somebody who knows about it then its safe return is of the utmost importance uh, any suspicions as to whom madame van den bosch the lady of the house believes florette is behind it i'm guessing florette is the maid uh Madame's theory? Doubt? I'm afraid I do. I know Madame is confident of Florette's guilt, but she wouldn't do such a thing. Surely a burglar is responsible, as Mademoiselle believes. Okay. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Okay. New mind map. Okay, we got mind map. Mademoiselle Elizabeth believes burglaries behind the bracelets disappear. Uh, if that is the case, there will no doubt be sign of intrusion in the ground. Investigate the grounds for evidence of an intrusion. Whenever Poirot uncovers an interesting area of investigation, an objective is launched. Here you can see all of the evidence relating to your very first objective. Using mouse to move your cursor, try highlighting each piece of evidence to see Poirot's interpretation of them. Elizabeth, she appears all flustered and yet still acts in a cordial and respectful manner. Okay. Unknown culprit. Uh, there seems to be conflicting ideas who is behind the missing bracelet. Well, yes. Stolen bracelet. If it is such a beloved piece, it must be worth a great deal. Well, if it's beloved, it still might be cheap, but I'm guessing it's not. Uh, Elizabeth reported theft. It is not often you see such crimes committed here. This could be my chance to solve a real case. It is important to pay attention to all information given for each piece of evidence. This will become more vital as you start making deductions. For now, press right button to return to the scene. Okay. It is time to find some more evidence. Elizabeth mentioned an intruder, so let's start with gravel path using 
left mouse button to explore interact try finding clues they may have left on the path itself you can use mouse wheel and zoom the camera out and in as you explore okay that's nice that's really nice okay so what are these R It's time to find some more evidence. I mentioned an intruder, so let's crop out the... Ah, oh, so I can... Oh, okay. I can change the movement. Uh, either... Mouse or... Okay. But these I can't interact with at the moment. And right button goes to options also. And there are no save options, so it's automatic save. So... Muddy footprints, yes. Well, let's go and check those. Oh. oh, while two sets lead away from the house, only one muddy set returns rather hastily, it seems. Lead away and one comes back, okay. Every inspection you make adds evidence to the appropriate place. Press R to view your active objectives. You can do this at any time you, as you explore each scene. Uh, investigate the grounds for evidence of intrusion. Okay. And uh, view mind map. Okay. Notice that you have some new evidence on your mind map all over the muddy footprints to see Poirot's interpretation of them. There is certainly enough space on the property, but I couldn't reside here in the country for ever. But I couldn't reside here, okay. While two sets lead away from the house, only one muddy set returns rather hastily, it seems. This is only a part of the picture. You need to explore more of the garden to find out the true nature of what happened. Press right button to backtrack and return the scene. Okay. So we check the muddy footprints. I can't go. Next try searching the garden lawn. There must be something there that helps to explain muddy footprints. Right, so let's go to the garden. Get into the garden. There's a black and something else. A quote on black. Oh. Uh -huh. A touching extract taken from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, expertly carved on black. The measure done, I'll watch her place of stand and touching hers. Make blessed my rude hand. Did my heart love till now was wear it sight. Uh, for I ne'er saw the true beauty till this night. Okay, I'm bad with reading, but yeah. Okay, so we got something new there. Does it? But apparently I'm not allowed to <laughs> use that now. So the tutorial is obviously pretty rigid so I need to find what overgrown grass nobody's oh check it uh -huh. there are no signs of trampling but it is a shame to see lawn so unkept huh there must be some oh there's the waterlocked patch huh this morning's shower must have been heavier than I thought, and intruder stepping here would surely leave evidence elsewhere. You now have enough evidence to make your first deduction access, your first objective using R. And let's go here. Corn lawn. Okay. Uh, expand. I can't. A touching extract, yes. Sizable garden when the weather permits it must be a perfect for entertaining Overgrown cross. There are no signs of trampling, but it is a sh yeah 
go on, okay? Talk to Elizabeth to advance the investigation. Uh, this morning shower must have been heavier, so now we need to start linking. I click this and I'll link it with the muddy footprints. Highlight muddy footprints, notice Poirot, Poirot interpretation as you do, and press. What a revelation! But a revelation indeed. So, okay. It seems the muddy footprints are the result of earlier rain. Well done, you just made your first deduction. Linking evidence gives you new evidence to use in your investigation. In this case, you also unlock new action. As represented by talk icon, press right button to return to objective screen. And you can actually zoom out, so that's nice. I'm guessing this collects all the people of the... Uh, when we meet them but let's talk of course officer how can I help footprints on the path are fresh today do you know who they belong to I couldn't could not help noticing the unkept lawn unkempt lawn is there not an employed is there not an employed gardener let's start with that there is sir Luke, but he was called away from the house on a personal matter. Rahana, our cook, accompanied him. Hmm, that would probably explain the footprint. With no corner present, there, ha there was no one tending to the lawn this morning, but still no sign of anyone stepping across it. Uh, the footprints on the path are fresh today. Do you know who they belong to? One set must be mine, leaving to find you. The other set must be Florette's. She was caught in the rain this morning. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that may, could make sense. Yes. That explains the hurried, scuffled nature of the prints. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to uncover. Try exploring the rest of the garden, collecting evidence, and making deductions until you are able to solve your first objective. Remember, you can use R to view your objectives and related actions at any time. Finally. Inspect the garden, yes. Anything else in here? Um, Path of my list, potential access points. There must be signs of an intruder elsewhere in the grounds. Yeah, okay. I can score the lawn of... Yeah, lawn is off. Hmm. Anything else? So, let's... Wait, 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 wait. What? Haven't I checked yet? Inspect garden. Culprit. Heft, talked, coat of the black, talked. Okay. S open window. Ah. It's an impossible climb to reach it unassisted. The ledge beneath it appears to. Ab it appears rather precarious. Hmm, true, true. So, don't see any markings of the ladder. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. So, those are the muddy foot footprints. Anything else we can find from here? Here? Yep, overgrown cross. Oh, there's the ladder. Right, but I didn't see any markings. Side door, let's check the ladder first. Huh. Judging by the condition of this ladder, I wouldn't trust it with my weight. Perhaps a braver man than I perched this elsewhere against the roof. Ah. Uh. Could be a possibility. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the same text. Right. Uh, what about the side door? Oh. Appears to be rusted shut, and if these cobwebs are a anything to go by, it has been unlocked in some time. Perhaps they entered another way. I'm starting to think it's a bird. Magpie or something like that probably stole that jewel. Jewelry. So what do we have here? So it appears to be rusted shut. And if these cobwebs are anything to go by, it hasn't been unlocked in some time. Perhaps they are entered another way. Uh, stop blinking. Wooden ladder. Uh, judging by the condition of this ladder, I wouldn't trust it. Yes. So, yeah, I could try to link these. Another success. I never doubted myself. Hmm. I have found no practical or logical way for someone to have reached the window. Perhaps another means of entry was attempted. No scaled access. <sighs> Come, my little grey cells. We must think logically. Okay, that doesn't work. And open window. Didn't use the lawn. Okay, let's check a little bit more. Wait, what is this? What was that? Um, no, well, no idea. Inspect the garden. Again, I'm starting to think it's a bird. Ah, trellis, maybe that. Hmm. The trellis has been left untouched for quite some time. Ah. Hmm. Okay. So, front door. Huh. No sign of tampering or forced entry. Uh, anything on the wind? Can I check the window? Hmm. Brick, well, yeah, I can't check more than that, which is a shame. Um, so I guess I need to link something to something, maybe. This is something I cannot interact with. Uh, anything I cannot talk to her. Nope. Floor bed. Hmm. Beautiful flowers. I'm glad to see no one carelessly damaged them. Okay. Trellis. Elisabetta. Can we talk? Of course, officer. How can I help? Apparently nothing at Merci, the moment. Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Hmm. So let's go and see. Ah, front door, side door. Maybe I can link these. Magnifique. Yes. Neither of the external doors have been damaged or shown any signs of unwanted visitor. So no first entry, no scaled access. Can I con connect these? The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. I couldn't find any sign of unlawful entry into the house? Will I find signs of an intrusion elsewhere in the grounds? Uh, maybe. 
Hmm. Can I connect these? I must act on thought and fact, not on impulse. Okay, so no, I cannot connect those. Inspect garden. Okay, yeah, there is but people. Elizabeth Badgett. Mademoiselle Elizabeth is a young, well-mannered girl that obviously cares a great deal about her friend and fellow member of the staff, Florette. She is happy and optimistic, and I believe may be of great help in my investigation. Okay. So we have to find something else now. Maybe. Overgrown. But the question is what? Uh, this shouldn't be as hard as it seemed to be. Can I talk about things now? Of course, officer. No, we still cannot. Merci, mademoiselle. Cannot discuss anything, so. Uh, Uh, well, that's a weird. We have this wall here and uh, double doors there. Okay, I'm missing something probably very, very... Uh... Can I do anything with these? No oh. signs. So, so nothing new. Again, I'm guess I'm almost certain it will be a bird. The culprit, I mean. Open window. Did I see something flower bed? But the question is, what do I need to find or connect? Hmm. Inspect garden. I have inspected the garden. Um can I connect these? Some would say a lucky ah. guess. I would say a moment of genius. Okay. I could not find signs of unwanted visitor in the garden. Did someone go at her tracks? No unlawful access to the garden. Food was from the earlier. No force entry. Do I connect these now? Is there something I am not seeing? Okay, so I'm not be able to connect those. Uh, cover their tracks. Hmm. Uh, inspect garden. So am I missing something? Well, obviously I'm missing something. Hmm. Beautiful flowers, open window. I cannot see the logic in this. Neither do Perhaps I. Perhaps a second look at the... Um... This will not get me any closer to my goal. No, it will not. Um... I must take a different approach if I am to uncut. Okay. Uh... No one flew. Yeah, we know that. Um, cover tracks. Okay, is there some. The, the problem is. Um, could there be new stuff when you. Ah! That I'm almost. Uh -huh. a, 
A declaration of love has been carved into the bench. L loves E. So I'm almost certain that I didn't see this earlier. Unless I managed to miss that. So I'm assuming that uh, you need to have some deductions and then other things pop out, maybe. Or then I miss it completely. Could be a possibility. Clues and evidence are beginning to gather. It would be best that I approach them logically. I'm disappointed if it's not the bird. So let's check. Oh, now we can talk to Elizabeth. Yes. It's here. Bench carving. Okay. Okay. So, Elizabeth. Talk to me. Of course, officer. How can I help? Mm, a little romance in this house. Excuse me, officer? The carving on the bench. Forgive me, I was not suggesting anything untoward. Oh, of course not. Yes, <laughs> I suppose there must be. <laughs> okay. Would you know the identity of the mysterious L and E? I'm afraid not. Perhaps they were old residents. A pair of star-crossed lovers, perhaps. Madame does not allow distracting staff relationships. Ah, distra distracting, you say? So, reason to hide it? Love is not something that can be harnessed so easily. That is true. That is Madame's rule, and I wouldn't want to be the one that challenges her on it. Right. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. But... I, how did that help us at all? We talked. Can I connect these? Things are beginning to become clearer. With no obvious signs of burglar, perhaps I should be looking at those inside for answers. This is not the start I was expecting. There are no signs of an intruder at all. There is something amiss. I must remain vigilant and keep my wits about me. Now we have possible inside job, but with no obvious... Yes, looking at those inside the answers. And we need to talk to Elizabeth, obviously. Congratulations, you completed your first objective and earned a collectible, accessible from the main menu. For now, continue your investigation by asking Elizabeth for permission to enter the house. Yes, I will do that. I have conducted my initial inspection of the house and grounds. It is now necessary for me to speak with those in the house. Of course. Thank you, officer. I'm sure Madame van den Bosch will be happy to hear the police are investigating. Oh, sorry? Yes. Happy, happy, happy. I suspect there will be someone inside who will not be as pleased to hear it. That is true. Time to enter to the main hall. Main hall. 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 No idea. I presume this is the lady of the house. She holds quite a presence and, from what Mademoiselle Elizabeth has said, she is not one to be on the wrong side of. I must talk with her before beginning my search. Well, the, this is quite dark. Yes, the lady, Cassandra. Who are you? You are not the commanding officer I requested. Well, no. No, dear madame, I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I can assure you that I... This will simply not do. I sent Elizabeth to bring me a competent lawman. Those uh, images uh, reminds me a little bit of Phoenix Wright. Though, it's a toy. Um, yeah. 
Well, I'm competent, I hope. And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue my investigation. I understand that Brussel has gone missing. I've been informed that you believe you caught the cul culprit. You do not believe there was an intruder in the house. Okay, let's start with the bracelet has gone missing. You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. It is a rather expensive piece. Okay. And valuable to your daughter, no doubt. It was a gift. Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. And it has not gone missing. It was stolen. Hmm. Um, you do not believe there was an intruder? Don't be ridiculous. I have told you who is guilty. If there had been a break-in, surely it would be your job to stop them. Well, actually, you haven't told me who the culprit is because I haven't asked it yet. If it was the case, of course, madame. Although I cannot predict a burglar's movement. Perhaps then you have proved me right and you aren't the competent officer I require. Perhaps. Never have I met someone so adamant that they don't require help from police. Her accusation against the maid is rather questionable. There must be more to the story and it is my duty to uncover it. And yes, well, yes it is because you're a police officer. I do not believe so. I know so. It was Florette, the maidservant. I knew I could not trust her. Why? And why is that? Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself any further, especially to a measly officer. Well, you should because I'm investigating the crime. Hmm. <laughs> so... Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. Right. You mind map unlocked. Madame von den Bosch was so quick to accuse the maidservant Florette. I wonder if this hasty accusation hides behind a deeper reason. Well, I'm almost certain that there will be a deeper reason and we hopefully uncover it. I have no idea if we can make... Um, false uh, connections or... Get wrong information? I don't know. I almost would assume no, but again, that's... I, well, we don't know it yet. And besides, this is just a tutorial, so yeah, there's that. So, Cassandra has reiterated what Elizabeth told me earlier. Cassandra is adamant Florette is guilty, but there is no glaring evidence to suggest it. The thought of a burglar seems to be an out of the question for Cassandra. I can imagine this was once beautiful entrance to a grand home. She appears all a fluster and yet still acts in a cordial and respectful manner. Yes. Each time you meet a new character, you unlock their character profile. Press F to view a list of everyone you met so far. Uh, Cassandra van den Bosch. Madame van den Bosch. Uh, uh, the lady of the house, abrupt and snobbish, snobbish, she's hesitant to help me in my investigation, already placing the blame on the young maidservant Florette. I can see a challenge persuading her of anything other than what she already believes. You slot button to your desired character from the list to view the associated character, character profile. Ah... Actions perform this character. Items. Uh, character profiles are expanded as you play through the prologue and main story. Press right button to backtrack when you're ready. So every document, actions and items are... Oh, this is interesting. Secrets. Maybe these are something you can miss. I don't know. Connections. Uh, connections. Connections do all from this character. Facts. And uh, what about Cassandra Wonder Burr Bath Bra Bosch? Accused facts connections secrets talking okay so yeah 
again, this is quite dollar a collection of books. Why they are here? Some of the great, greatest authors and novels throughout the history. Well, only very few because there's only a few books over there. So yeah, okay. Grandfather clock, top to room, to room, top room, to room, to garden. Mm, wait, auction grade. Uh -huh. Various art pieces have been packed and addressed to the auction house. I assume Madame did this. Uh -huh. and portrait of a gentleman. Uh -huh. Rather impressive portrait, I must say. Another this. Well, it is. Yes, very impressive. Telephone. Huh. Not working. Why would a house of this size be without working telephone? I'm guessing the money is a bit tight around here. And that's why we have that auction house thingy. I'll go I'll check the rooms first before I talk more. Coat. There is nothing in particular about this coat, but what is this in the pocket? Hidden inside the coat pocket, although fairly plain, it is still an attractive item of jewelry. I wonder if it holds a special significance. Ah, oh, cannot interact with that at all. So we found a ring. Two room, two room. Is this a different room than this? I think that's locked. Hmm. Kitchen is not essential to my current investigation. So what about this room then? It's locked and sobbing can be heard inside. I assume Madame has taken the law hmm. into her own hands. That's a a rose and crossed arrow symbol adorns the door, perhaps a signal of forbidden love. Come, my little crazels, let us solve this mystery. Yes, 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 in the time, in time, in due time, I mean. We could talk to her, but I still want to go upstairs. Oh. Can I interact with this? Hmm. No, no. To upstairs, then. This is quite dark, if I'm completely honest, and I don't think there's settings. No. There are no settings for the brightness. Uh, well, we have to do. Can I go over here? Hmm. Hopefully, there. If uh, it seems. There's a painting missing, and something else. Ah. There obviously have been obviously been something previously hanging in this person. Was it stolen? I wonder. No, it's in the auction box, I guess. Uh, but the yay continues to be as dark as it is now. I have to do something about it, but I hope it's just for this. More books. We got a room we cannot enter, but we can enter in here. The madam's room, I'm guessing. Which we which we have seen outside. This must be the scene of the crime. I was expecting to find clues. Not who clues. Not who I must assume is the daughter. I can only hope she has not tampered with the scene. Hmm. Okay. Bed. Let's see. I'm gonna check the area first before I talk to her. Ah, did I see something? Something dropped there, but I cannot. Um, Angeline. Angelique. Okay. Apparently, I need to talk to her because there's nothing I can interact with. 
Although there are classes around What there. do you think you're doing in here? Who let you in? I let myself in. Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. An officer of the law? But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? What burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and investigate the scene of the crime. Ah, if we must. <laughs> Merci. I will attempt to take up as little of your time as possible. Why don't you begin by telling me what up, what has happened? Uh, the bracelet is in question. It must have been a particular value to justify such a daring burglary. I'm trying to understand how someone could have entered and exited your room unnoticed. Well, let's start. Tell me what has happened. Some rats stole my bracelet this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, Maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. So, Angeline herself doesn't believe it's our Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside of the house. My window was open when I returned. How else can you explain that? Oh, it's opened after you were somewhere, okay. Uh, particular value? It is of great value. Monet was no object to father. Oh, sorry. It was a gift from your father. I can only assume it holds great value to you also. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Maman had it insured with the others. Insured? Interesting. Uh, could have entered and exited your room unnoticed, so yeah. It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. She was with me all morning. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet was missing? She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed, and we went down to the lounge for breakfast. Hmm. Okay. You have been of great help to my investigation, Mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. New minimap unlocked. This is where the bracelet in question was last seen. I must investigate the crime scene thoroughly, leaving no stone unturned. So finally I have the permission to actually check this area. So yeah, it... Oh. Black powder, it would not... It would not be too much of an assumption to think this has come from dealing with the fireplace. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I was thinking gunpowder, but yeah, black powder probably sued from the fireplace, not uh, something. Yeah. Um, so, yes, there's definitely a thing that uh, you need to have certain things before you can inspect other things, if that makes any sense. Fireplace. Huh. Oh, this must keep the room rather snug on a cold evening. Well, that's the general idea of the fireplace, usually. Especially olden times. <laughs> Anything else? Huh. Uh, no. But we do have glass shards, broken glass, an abandoned poker. Ah, oh, fireplace poker. Oh. It has been left out, oddly not replaced in its stand. The ending hook. The ending has a hooked spike. What further use could it have? Poke the wood on in the fireplace. I would say. I am interested why I'm talking like this, but let's check the photograph of a gentleman. No idea. Hmm. The gentleman is the same as the one from the hallway, judging by the crack glass, it must have been recently dropped. And I am hazard to guess it's her father. That would make a quite a lot of sense. And yes, the family is desperately out of money, I would say, as you broken class. 
Hmm. Rather irresponsible and dangerous to live in its state, whether one is a rush, whether one is in a rush or not. So who opened the window? That is the question. Again, I'm still thinking about the bird. I don't know why. Oh. The frame is noticeably cracked. Furthermore, the internal latch shows it has been opened from the inside and rather forcefully, I must add. Okay, this is starting to seem almost like an insurance fraud. Because there are no... Hmm. Markings outside, so this would... Hmm. But the frame is broken from inside to mimic burglar. Burglary. Okay, rectangular dust recess. Ah. Something has obviously resided here for some time and only moved recently. So something has been moved. Okay, let's check. Uh, talk to Cassandra and Elizabeth. Talk to Cassandra. So we have crime scene, crowds. Let's see this first. Um, okay, Rose and Cross. Wait a minute. Okay, strange symbol. A Rose and Cross arrow symbol is carved in the locked door. If my knowledge serves me correctly, a reference to a great William Shakespeare. Okay, I just noticed there's number two and linkage. So would it that mean there's two things we can link on this screen? I'm gonna make a one thing. So this is a find out why Cassandra accused for it so hastily, and this is the crime scene. Do we have a different? Well, we have two here. Oh, because I was thinking maybe depending. Well, I guess those link linkage numbers are different from the view map, mind map. So we have two here and two here. Let's start with this then. Mm. Talk to Cassandra, yes. Valuables are insured. The timing could not have been more perfect for, for Madame to insure that jewelry. Perhaps just a coincidence. Perhaps, perhaps not. Cassandra has reiterated, reiterated what Elizabeth told me earlier. Uh, and element for it is the guilty. Burglary seems to be out of the question for Cassandra. Okay. Uh, maybe I can connect these. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Okay. It seems someone in the house has a keen interest in the works of William Shakespeare. So. Interest in, interest in Shakespeare. So now we have one in here. So let's see if this is correct. Yes. Okay, so then number of linkages so that we have two things we can link in here and still one in here. Okay, good to know. Uh, collection of classic novels, auction crate, Malibu's insured, gold band. I can expand this. Oh, okay, so it opens it like so. Portrait of a gentleman, telephone, and missing painting, auction crate. Uh, hmm. Do I want to connect these? Order and method. No. That is the way to solve the problem. Order and method, indeed. I am bad with that. Bench carving, gold band. Hmm. Uh, what could I connect now? Cold band, bench carving. I must take a different approach if yeah. I am to uncover the truth. Right. Uh, maybe missing painting and auction crate? 
Magnifique. Why didn't I just do that already? Yeah, Madame is selling a great deal of her collection. Perhaps there's more to this than just redecorating. Well, that is uh, selling heirlooms. Can I... No, then there's nothing to connect at the moment. So when there's nothing to connect, I cannot connect at all. Not even try. Okay, so what do we have in here? Crime scene, cleaning rack, abandoned poker, open window, broken glass, rectangular dust recess. We need to talk about that. The fallen suit. Unprotected. Broken claws. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Yes. It seems the photograph fell on the floor and Angelina replaced it. Yes. Um, fallen suit, cleaning rack, maybe? Order and method. Okay, no. That is the way to solve the problem. Yes, 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 it is. Hmm. Uh, something has obviously resided there. Yeah. The timing could have. Yes. Remains that a man Perkla is responsible for the death. We need to talk. Uh, Ah, maybe they used the poker, abandoned poker, to crack the window open. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. It was forced open, and looking at the poker, I cannot see a delicate way it could have been done. Who would do such a thing, and why? Someone forced the window open from inside. Okay. So, so far, we are done with these and we need to talk the longer you are here the further the criminal goes with my bracelet but by all means fire away I'm guessing the criminal is not going further away neither the bracelet but anyways besides bracelet have you noticed anything else missing is one bracelet not enough well no <laughs> uh, I trust you keep track of your jewelry, especially those of such value to you. And please, mademoiselle, I only ask that you are sure it is my... Oh, I'll go with the I trust you keep track of your jewelry. Oh, why don't you believe me? I wish you hadn't spoken to Maman. Mm -hmm. As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house. And I would not want to have discovered a further missing piece later. And photographs first. <laughs> Can I assume the photograph was cracked by accident? How should I know? I returned to the room and father was face down on the floor. It must have been the burglar. So it is your father that is the subject. Think faster, Poirot. That's so obvious. Isn't he handsome? I remember watching him sit for it. He kept looking across and smiling at me. <laughs> The artist was getting awfully angry at him. Hmm. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. Okay. Rectangular recess. Did we get something we... No new linkages. But nothing else was taken. And Angelina's father, yes. So that is done in here. But anything else we can check? Open window. Fireplace, cleaning rack. Jewelry box. I'm almost certain that... Ah. Or maybe I missed it. Ah, this must be where the piece in question has disappeared from. So many beautiful pieces remain. Everything there that... Okay. Oh, I believe I have found everything here that can help me uncover the truth. Perhaps I must consider what exactly these clues mean. Uh, I'm almost certain that jewelry box was over there. Let's see if I can connect that. No. Where did... Oh. Uh, this must be where the piece is in the question. Okay. 
there was an opportunity to take more than just more than just the bracelet. Yes. Why didn't the burglar just take everything? Even if they are doing the insurance scam, that still doesn't make sense. Hmm. But let's go and talk to Sandra. Let's Oh, there's the downstairs. Yes, Cassandra. Hello. Really, officer, you are wasting both your time and mine. It's my time to be wasted. Would you permit me to enter the lounge? I couldn't help but admire the handsome monsieur in the portrait on the wall. And what is your point? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Would you permit me to enter the lounge? Only if you are prepared to take Florette away. Probably not. It is an offence to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. I must question Mademoiselle Florette to gather her version of events. If you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain there, and I, the keyholder, until she is led from the room in handcuffs. R right, you do know that's women are often so almost. I don't know about that time, but to be honest, you are. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. Okay, what is going on here? Um. Cassandra has locked Floret in the lounge and refuses to relinquish the master key. Right. Um. Cassandra and Elizabeth. Oh, I need to talk to Elizabeth. Okay. So I'm guessing Elizabeth is outside. Yes, yeah, she is. Mademoiselle Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you I shall find the guilty party and the bracelet. Thank you, officer. Yes. All I want is for Florette to be heard. Don't we all? Bien sûr. Rest assured she will get the fair trial she deserves. I wonder if you could help me with some questions regarding the house. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. There is something coming from behind the locked lounge door. Well, that's Florette, obviously. When I left, Madame was with Florette in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. It must have been an accident. <laughs> nope, that's not an accident. Madame Van den Bosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me access to speak with her? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. I am filled with sorrow for the young girl trapped in the lounge, but I must admit I have missed the trail of solving a good puzzle. Perhaps the countryside is not as tedious as it seems on the surface. Did you know there's anything else missing when you returned? Now I think of it, I don't recall seeing her memento tin. Memento tin? Memento tin, could this have been the what usually resides uh, on the desk in Mademoiselle's bedroom? She holds her keepsakes from her father and other gifts or tokens in it. She has such a wonderful collection. She's very lucky. She normally keeps it close, but I didn't see it this morning. Interesting. Interesting. So nothing. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. 
Now the question is, can I enter somewhere else? So we have something to connect. Valuables are insured. Cashier holds the master key. Elizabeth confirmed spare key. Uh, do I connect with this? Come, my little grey silence. Nope. Ah, uh, interesting. Well, it's connected to... Sh what a revelation! Yeah, I was trying to connect it to the wrong place. What a revelation! A key is discreet enough to hide almost anywhere. Even inside a book. And uh, we need to talk to Elizabeth again. Okay, that's good. Can I connect something in here? No. Something's missing. Right. Okay. Nothing to connect, but we we have talked, but yeah, we need to talk to Elizabeth again. Certainly, officer. A great deal of literature. Literature. Are you all keen readers? Madame is the one with the refined taste. Angeline and I are much more partial to a simple love story. Okay. Aren't we all? Romeo and Juliet, the most famous of love stories. <laughs> I do enjoy it so. The passion, the romance. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Madame has a copy upstairs in the main hall. Thank you very much. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Indeed. Now we know where the key is. I'll try to do this prologue in this episode so we can, f on the next episode, we can get the meat of the game, I would say. Come on. Uh, is it? Ah, there they are. Oh. One of the greatest love stories ever written. I'm glad to see Shakespeare's words are being enjoyed. And here is the key. The key. And now we can go downstairs. And uh, finally talk to Florette. I would, at least I hope so. Finally, it is unlocked. Indeed. What exactly do you think you are doing? Uh, inspecting the house, Cassandra? If I am to serve justice, I must be able to reach and talk with young Florette. The girl is guilty and shall pay the price for her crime. I shall see to that. If you wish to listen to her feeble attempts to explain herself, so be it. You're a funny person, aren't you? Everyone deserves to tell their side of the story, whether a feeble account or not. Okay. 